Shalom and welcome to another edition of Revelation Shorts. In this edition, I'd like to begin with a warning. And that warning is this. Don't believe everything you read and see on the internet and on other places. There are many who is trying to deceive you. We know that in the last days, Messiah taught this, Peter taught this, Paul taught this, that there was going to be a spirit of deception that goes throughout the world and wanting to deceive us and move us away from the truth. And likewise, many people try to be very sensational with their information. Now, I understand we all want people to click on our videos and and listen to what we have to share, but we also need to be very wise in what we're listening to. And the subject that I want to talk about has to do with some emails that I've been getting about the Euphrates River. People want to know they've seen, is it drying up? The Bible talks about this in Revelation chapter 16. And is that what's happening today? Well, the answer is absolutely not. We can be assured that what the Bible speaks of in Revelation 16 and the Euphrates River is not happening now. I don't know what is the status of the Euphrates River in regard to its water level. We do know this. Rivers change their course. They're constantly moving. And what sometimes had water in it and was part of the river Because the river moves, it changes course, and what happens? That place that was part of the river, that was full of water, suddenly, after a few years or decades, it's empty. It's no longer where the water flows through. This is normal. Is this happening at the Euphrates River? Well, most rivers go through this, so it wouldn't be surprising if this was the case. But what does the scripture say? Well, take out your Bible and look with me to Revelation chapter 16, and I want to begin in verse 12. And notice, this is in regard to the bold judgments. When do the bold judgments happen? Well, we need to remember something. We have in the book of Revelation, seals, trumpets, and bowls. And the seals are prior to the rapture. How do we know that? Because we have a promise. The church, that is the believing community, will never experience God's wrath. There's a promise, and that promise is that we will be caught up together with the Lord. I'm speaking about our Lord Yeshua, Messiah Jesus. We will be caught up in the air with Him when? Before the wrath of God begins. And when we look at the scripture, we see that the wrath of God begins, it's announced in the sixth seal, but it does not begin until the trumpet judgments, and it's completed with the bowl judgments. And that's what we're talking about. So let's be very clear about this. This isn't speculation. This is not interpretation. This is fact based upon the simple reading of of the text. When this event happens of the Euphrates River being dried up, we believers will not be here. That blessed hope, that rapture will have already taken place. So it is very disappointing that people talk about this river drying up and saying, is it happening now? Is this what's going on? Absolutely, it is not. What does the scripture say? Well, join me in this section of Revelation. Revelation 16 and verse 12 where it says, And the sixth angel poured out his bowl upon the river, that great river, the Euphrates, and its water was dried up. Now notice this. It is not some natural phenomena, but a supernatural event. It is solely because of the angel pouring out his bowl that the river was made to dry up. So it's going to be something that happens supernaturally. 
It's going to be something that happens quickly. And all the water is going to be dried up, not just portion of it. So what may be happening today with that river has nothing to do, hear that carefully, it has nothing to do with any biblical event, any last time uh, uh, happening. We will not be here for this event. Look again. It says, its waters will be made to dry up in order that a way will be prepared for the kings from the rising of the sun, meaning from the east. And we can go on and look at this chapter and see the spiritual events that's going to take place, the evilness of the enemy. And we're speaking about that Antichrist empire and its army that is going to move towards Jerusalem. So be assured, what's going on today with the Euphrates River, if anything unique is going on, it has nothing what to do with anything that the book of Revelation is speaking about. It is totally, absolutely unrelated. We won't be here to witness that event. Praise God for that. We will already be in the kingdom of God, enjoying the blessings of God's promises. So let's not be sidetracked. Let's not believe the sensationalism and the distortion of some. Let's be rooted in God's word so that we can walk walk faithfully and to be found faithful when Messiah returns to gather up his disciples. Thanks for watching. Until our next episode, Shalom from Israel.